guys, I'm Lilac the Dragon Girl, and welcome to this Let's Play of Freedom Planet. If you love this video and want to see more, subscribe to Scatlink Sean or my own YouTube channel in the links below. You know you want to. So special. Hi guys, welcome back. Scanlon here, and we are for the finale of Lilac's story on Freedom Planet. And in the last episode, we found the Kingdom Stone in Brevin's Dreadnought's Warp Drive. And well, we put Torque's hacking device into the thing, and it did work. But Brevin just appeared out of nowhere with Mila in his clutches, literally stabbed her. We retreated, relinquished the hacking device, he steps on it, Mila mutated, we were forced to fight her, she was forced to fight us, she's only 10 years old, and we had to effectively crack her skull open. Oh dear. Not only is Lilac probably emotionally scarred from doing that to Mila, and seeing it happen to Mila, from Brevin, and Brevin, Literally lightning us to the point where he cut off Lilac's rope talon like hair and literally destroyed us to the point that we were literally a burning dragon, I guess you'd say. Um, and obviously, he's put Avalus in a, a state of war which we're trying to stop and brainwash Prince Rallis and decapitate the Prince Shrigong. It is time to give this green maniac what for? I'll never forgive you! I have no use for forgiveness, especially from someone who puts my homeworld at risk for an oversized battery. I offer you one final chance. Leave. Now. So be it. You think we are going to flipping leave after what you did? Are you delusional? I think he is. I think he doesn't know what he's doing. He's that mad with power, I guess. Yes, we're fighting the friggin' Absolution again. But this time he's got these bloody missile attack that I hate so much. I can never seem to dodge that in, in time. There were no springs to help us this time. We've got to do it all off our own back, and he is super fast. And I'm about to die already, and that is pretty bad. Right, here we go. Here's what I'm going to do. He's going to now do this passerby, which means I'm just going to do this. And that still hurt me, which sucked. And I'm going to die on the next hit, which will absolutely suck balls. And he's going to go into the wall. No, he ain't. I got him. I'm dead. <laughs> there was no way I could dodge that. Yeah, that's gonna that's annoying. And on the first round, we have to go through this every time. And if you do not do this properly, you are going to get hurt. If you just run forward and then boost at the very end, you should be fine. Thankfully, we get to skip this cutscene, so we just jump straight into the fact. We just give him a stone look, and he's like, "Yep, we're ready to tussle." But yeah, I just can't dodge that with a normal champ anymore. Whoa! Did I just get two attacks off at the very end of my freaking cyclone? Oh boy! I just can't. Really? Oh my god, I just got hit by everything. I actually pressed the dragon boost button, you heard the noise. It didn't go off. Yeah, he only does two jumps this time around, and then again, the area is a lot smaller. Yeah, at least I dodged it that time. Right, I'm doing the boost. That's the time to use it. We just need to make sure we actually have enough. I'm doing it now. I'm blasting through all of them like so. Okay, here we go. Yes, I got it off again. Oh, I actually killed him with it. That is awesome. And I just got hit by there, but that's fine because I got more than enough health right there. Yes, that was actually the quickest I've actually got through the first phase. But now it's the second phase. He freaking summons a Megazord. No joke. 
He's got Megazord. And this dude's annoying because he has this shooting thing when he's hovering, so he shoots when he's hovering. Then he does uh, a dash, which causes like afterburn. And then he does a freaking space jump screw attack, for instance, which is almost impossible to dodge. And he does a boost right afterwards. And once you've done enough damage to him, or at certain intervals, he'll do that energy explosion and then he'll jump up and do another shot. So he will do certain attacks at certain points, but if you're too far away, he'll either do the screw attack or he'll do a boost. But after that, once again, after the first two rounds, I can't really find a pattern, he just seems to do it at random for me. So, and of course he's even more erratic on harder difficulties, which is not fun. I'm gonna do that for some massive damage, I'm just gonna do this like a freaking dragon that I am, and just have some fun. Oh, I actually dodged that, shit. Now I got him on the pass by there, that's cool. Okay, he's doing that again, so that's fine, I'll just sit here. I'll be fine, I'll be safe. Then he'll do the dash gink, because I'm- oh no he didn't. I keep forgetting, he always does the jump first. I'm actually doing- where were you serious? That, I always die on at least once. I just did the first two phases in a row, and that's never happened with me with any character before. Your machines won't save you from the dragon you've unleashed! I will destroy everything you throw at me! I will make you pay for what you have done! I'd like to see you try. Okay, right before it tussles, let me finish off my thought. <laughs> I do not do phases, part, phases 1 and 2 in one life, let alone that quickly. Dude, I must be getting better at this game, and of course it happens now, and I get wrecked by bloody Serpentine. Or Mega Serpentine, Mutated Serpentine, whatever you want to call him. But yeah, we're now in the final phase of Brevin. Now, before I begin... You want to dodge the first attack. If you don't, your health is going to get halved. And he does hesitate for a moment to throw you off. So what he does- Oh boy, I'm running. So what he does is that he'll do a slash, then he'll do a backward bomb throw, then he'll chuck you, and then he'll do a jump shot, and he'll repeat. No, then he'll do a slash. He'll do that twice, then he'll do this bloody arcing thing, and then you can show you can when he comes out of the ground, because he's got like a massive lag time there. This is what talk meant that he wasn't exactly the best. There we go, I'm almost dead now. But yeah, this that's what talk meant that he's not exactly the best fighter on the ground. He only has a very certain amount of moves and he's left wide open after he does that what that flying wave thing after two rounds of his usual attack pattern. It, as long as you don't get hit by that knife, you should be fine. That knife will not kill you unless you are on the red. That chuck will also not kill you unless you're on the red. That chuck is actually really helpful though, because it does get you up to your maximum speed, like so. It doesn't do any damage unless, obviously, if you're on the red, it will kill you. Now, I'll just wait for him to come out. Sure you can! Yeah, you're not getting me with that, mate. Ow, you got me with that, mate. Nope! Ah! I was invincible. Yeah, and I do find this, I do find Brevin a lot easier with Carol, but yeah, this boss. And yeah, he does have a bloody health bar here. And I've only half killed him, which is actually kind of sucky. I don't want to get hit by this. I dodge that one, dodge that one. So he does three passes, and then I can uppercut him. Right, I've got one hit left, and then he's going to kill me. I'm surprised that throw didn't actually kill me. That hit him, at least. Oh! Right, he'll do the three pass spies. One, two, three, like so. I want to finish him with a Shoryuken like I did in on my Twitter posts. Oh, really? That can kill me? I've never seen it hit me on the ceiling before. Hell, I didn't think they exploded on contact with the ceiling. That's kind of annoying and how fitting that we actually get defeated by Brevin here. But I'm going back in. And, you know what? Like I said, you know when I said that the game over doesn't really punish you at all? We still keep our checkpoint in a boss battle, like we did with Serpentine. And that doesn't really matter considering our jewels. Maybe we lose the jewels we can like to them. They only get recorded in, like... Segments of 20 or something? I'm not too sure. Well, that works. At least the shockwaves don't hurt us when that happens. Right, he'll do his one, two, then head back for the third one. Wait for him to pop out. Sure you can! So yeah, I'm not going to cut out too many takes of this. We're in it for the long haul. I just do not want to get hit by his knife, because that is the worst. Dodge the blast. Dodge the knife. He'll do three pass-bys. Run to the right. Run to the left. I'll do the second. He pops out, sure you're going to get some easy damage off, he's already half dead, I've already taken one teeny little chip, that is crazy. 
Thanks for the chuck, that's fine. That, I do not appreciate that snipe in the face. I've got it down. Shuriken! Ouch. Nope. Yeah, you can take a couple of those cyclones to the face, buddy. Yeah, I'll take that snipe, that's fine. Oh! I didn't do the Shuriken, but I didn't realize I was going to kill him with that one whack to the face. Where did she get that super boost? I do not know. How did she do two at once? I don't care. The power of determination compels you, mother flippin' piece of shit. I had to censor myself for that one. Dragon Power. We beat the game as Lilac. And before it could achieve warp drive, we saved. There goes Brevin in his absolution, bro. Damn it, he got away. How did he get away? We were literally in his belly. And there goes the Kingdom Stone. Oh dear. She's alive! You weren't yourself. It's okay. It's okay. I couldn't save it. I couldn't even stop him from getting away. Don't beat yourself up. Brevin didn't get the stone, and his army was destroyed with his ship. Thanks to you, our mission is complete. But at what cost? How are we going to survive without any more energy? That was the top of the screen. Uh, Lilac, you might want to look up. <sighs> it, it's not destroyed? It must have changed form! What, from the ship self-destructing? Call me impressed. An opportunity has fallen to our world. We now realize that the Kingdom Stone was never fading, but changing in ways that were transparent to us in our lust for power and prestige. The wind carries its eternal glow to the furthest reaches of our lands, and former enemies extend their hands to one another, acknowledging the error of their ways. Creatures, both mutant and metal, still ravage the landscape, and it will be some time before we can dispose of them once and for all. Perhaps most troubling of all is that Lord Brevin, the monster who threw our world into chaos, is nowhere to be found. There is still much work to be done. We are not completely out of danger. But my people and I will rest easy tonight, knowing that the bravery and sacrifice of a select few have given our world another chance. Setting ourselves up for a sequel, but apparently Brevin's not the boss. That's confirmed. I never got to properly thank you all for helping me. Hey, we're buds. That's what buddies do. Well, on behalf of the Coalition of Planets, you have our sincerest gratitude. Look at the graffiti they did on your little rocket ship, buddy. I like how he had a fighter plane that he had at the very beginning of the game. I'm guessing that was his escape shuttle, because that's how he escaped from when he got shot down, which is why he got shot down when he was trying to escape, and that's how we met him, but... Does that mean that Avalis does have some type of spacefaring technology, considering they were able to build this rocket ship for him, or... Is this just a rescue pod from the Coalition of Planets? Who knows? But if that was the case, why has Carol done some doodling like the rebel she is? Psst, come here, you. Hug him! <laughs> Thank you. 
So, I guess this is it, huh? I'm gonna miss you. Me too. <laughs> well, who knows? I could be coming back sooner than you think. Until then, just take care of yourselves. The world needs you. See you around, spaceman! Goodbye, Torque! Bye, Torque! See you soon! <laughs> Gong! I love that. I love Gong sprites. He's so awesome. And that's it! Talk blasting off, meaning that his mission's complete. Brevin was at least stopped, even though we don't know where he is, except for in the credits. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Here's the voice actors. Yep, thanks, King of Srigol. You're still the captain. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> he's still got the eyes, but now he's fine. Ish. Probably still a bit mentally scarred. Hey, don't be breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, that was your problem, buddy. You're all naked now. Yeah, talks lines there, saying that I could be coming back sooner than you think. Don't feel that, like, possibilities of you appearing in the sequel, despite how much we all wanted that to be a thing. Because... There we go. Right, have the quack in there. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, is that... Sorry, I had to let those characters talk. But yeah, it's like, talk says that, and it sounds like, oh, he could be appearing in the sequel as well, but we all it's already been confirmed that he, well, it hasn't been confirmed he's not appearing in the sequel, but we haven't seen any, like, possibility of him playing yet, because we know about Nero, we know about the three characters that we can play as in this game. But then again, they also said that they would probably make, like, a completely separate game based off talk and Spade. At some point, it's been theorised. I don't, I'm not too sure how it is about that. But yeah, um, this let's play so far. Obviously, we're not at the end because we've still got two characters to do. But at least I can do like a little evaluation at this point. The presentation, almost on point. I know at the first episode we had a little bit of frame rate drops, but that's because. Sorry, I had cough. Is that the reason why the, the frame rate kind of jutted a couple of times was because that the. Well, I have my current setup right now, and that's what I was using for episode 1, but I was using Audacity on the same computer as well, and I think that was causing it, because now I run Audacity for a set my desktop while playing the game on my laptop, which was my original setup, but that's so that the computer has less of a load, and apparently that fixed the frame rate issue, so it was a clean, smooth, locked 60 frames, instead of stuttering for like 2 seconds a pop, holding one frame. But yeah, we'll clean it up as we go, but for now... We has game stats, similar to like Legends of Link to the Past, I guess. It tells us what, 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 how many times we died in a level, which, funnily enough, first le level I didn't actually die on. Which I thought I died almost every level, but I pretty much did, as we can see here. Kind of disgusting, but... <laughs> a lot better than what it was first time around. I will say that much, and it's going to be bad, worse the further we go down through. But yes. Couple of bumps in terms of like ending videos and stuff and how to structure them, but obviously we can cl I can clean that up and plan that out a lot better. The other two stories, I thought I had it planned in my head, obviously that didn't work out well. But you know, hindsight's only 2020. You know, we can plan ahead. Final Dreadnought 4. What the hell? I thought I was bad at this game. Did I still get over 50 deaths? No, under yes, under 50 deaths. I'm actually quite happy about that. I don't. Th that that is insane actually i thought i was gonna die like at least 50 times that's under the limit the, 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 the amount that i thought i was gonna die at because first time i played through lilac i think i died like 74 times we can check it at the end of this video i guess in fact hell we can check it now because all we've got to do is press continue and we're booted to the title screen and if you choose the character when it when they're completed uh i think you just go to a file selection stage like similar to like classic mode so it's like you can just go through all the levels yourself. It's not like, basically it's like time attack mode, but in this case you get to see the cutscenes up to that point in the story. While in um, time trial mode you don't, you just go straight to the level. And of course, time attack will record your best times, which does actually get saved from um, the story mode, but that's a thing we can cover at a later point. But yeah, five lives. I beat Brevin on five lives. That means I didn't actually get a game over 
D D wait, does it mean I got a game over and then I swept him? No, I did die once. What? Hang on. That can't be right. I did. Wait, did I? Did I actually sweep him after the game over? No, because I died against Brevin. So that means I should have four lives. Because if I go back to the. Yeah, I have one, two, one. Okay, I'm a little bit confused about that. Alright, whatever. Um, I guess I swept him, because you start with five after a game over. There was no way for me to grab any gems or one ups, so whatever. But yeah, I died 74 times last time. 198 minutes. Oh, I took longer though. But that's because I knew the patterns. And I wasn't trying to blitz my way through, which is probably why I've got a few more deaths than I usually did. 3,353, 3,500, oh, I got more gems as well, it's the best far overall for Lilac anyway, and I do prefer that portrait more than that one, to be fair. It's like she's got, like, a shiny part on her arm, which I'm not exactly a fan of, I guess. But yeah, um, yeah, I prefer that sprite anyway. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Lilac done, but we're not done yet. We've still got two more characters to go through. We've got Carol and Mila. Oh boy, Mila. Considering that we just saw in the last episode how that Mila is effectively a boss, you would think that her adventure would end there. Well, considering that I'm bringing it up, not a spoiler or anything, but not entirely the case. In fact, it's a little bit more different than you would actually expect. But it's still going to be some form of a time going through with her story. But we've got probably one of my favourites of the three characters to play as. I mean, I don't mind Lilac, but I do remember having a much more fun time with Carol despite dying a lot more. But yeah, um, except for one level, which is kind of a dick, but we'll get there in the, at that point. But yes, in the next episode, guys, we start with Carol's quest. For though, for, for until then, see you guys for when I take a little bit of a break. I don't plan on having too much of a break. I'll probably be still blasting these out day by day because I record about three at once and there we go. But, you know, we still got our Zelda Found Fast Subscriber Special Challenge going on right now, which, is, which are live streams. And, well, obviously, if you keep an eye on my social media, which is in the link in the, which are in the links of the description below of every video, you can follow them. And whenever I do a stream, You'll be notified there because I normally post there before I go live. Mostly before, like, in an hour in advance. Most of the time. But yeah, um, since I don't do streaming that often, it's kind of a treat. So, and we've still got other stuff coming up this month, like the end of this month being September. We've also got Stairs Classic and everything like that. So that's going to be fun as well. Star Fox 2, it's all good. But yeah, for now, for Freedom Planet, I'm blabbering on. Because, you know, at the time, we technically finished the Let's Play of one story. We've got more stories to do. So, enough of me blabbering. In the next episode, guys, we start off with Carol. See you guys then, where we relive the adventure all over again from a different perspective. See you guys then.